Hi everyone, welcome back to a sunny Midlothian on Rusty Rides Gravel. Today we are doing a small bimble from Gladhouse Reservoir up to the South Esk Cluch, pronunciation again there, via Jeffreys Hill. So we're just north of Glen Tress. Glen Tress will be just over the other side. And we're looking at about 25k, I think 450 meters of climbing. Um, I've already had to have a detour. So I plot my routes with Kamut and I made one through what I thought was a trail past a farm but the farmer told me that it was a dead end. It was all overgrown and everything was ruined. So thankfully I'm on a gravel bike so I just popped on the road, looped around and I'll pick up the gravel trail from the east, from the west side. So hooray for gravel bikes and just being able to pop on the road without too much hassle. In fact, I might even say I was slightly more comfortable on these roads on this bike than on my road bike. So our 25 kilometre route with 450 metres of climbing will start at the Gladhouse Reservoir and we will cycle round to a woodland trail before heading up Jeffrey's course. That is a 613 metre summit that we'll be heading up. We will then ride down the River South Esk which flows into Gladhouse Reservoir and see if we can get a view of Hirondeen, Hirondeen Castle and then we'll scoot around the east side of the reservoir to complete our loop for the afternoon. So I'll just spin the camera around and give you a little taste of the hill that we're going to be going up. <laughs> I don't know why I pick these for myself. I really should pick easier routes. So we're going up there. But first of all, there's a trail through some woods I want to have a look at. So let's go find that and let's get going. So that's where, that's where I was supposed to be coming from. Doesn't look that bad, does it? Oh well. We're going that way now. This track is brilliant. I love it already. Let's go. So for many a good long time, I used to cycle on the gravel with my normal bidons that I use for my road bike. And that used to involve me tasting a delicious Local delicacies, sheep poo, cow poo, deer poo, mud. Only recently, I discovered the genius of those little caps that go over the top. Who'd have thought it? That was pretty awesome. I'm not actually sure what this place is called. I'll put the name up on the screen because I think you should check it out. Nice, nice little gravel trail. Now I think we're going up past that hut into the hills. Exciting. So we, I'm interrupting this climb up the top of this hill here um, as we travel up past these 33 kV underground cable markers. I forgot to take my overshorts off, so I've been riding along with two layers of shorts on like an expert. Whoops! However, the Pentland Hills are looking awesome today. So that's one thing. That's better. Shorts are off. Only one layer now. Cool. Right, let's follow these up the hill. So I think it's about two kilometers of climbing up this grassy slope before we get to the top. I definitely plan on taking it easy. Now it's starting to get nice and steep. A bit of on off 
the bike action here. Also there's grass. It hides the bumps. So you've no idea what's under here. So we're just stopping for a breather up this hill. Turning out to be quite a steep beast. And we'll just do a little bit of waffle, shall we? About Gladhouse Reservoir. It's the largest freshwater body in all of the Lothians. Doesn't sound like very much. 460 acres, I think it is, in this area. It was built in the late 1800s, I think, to give the water supply to Edinburgh a boost because all the reservoirs and dependents weren't handling it anymore. Nowadays, it's pretty good for water sports and generally looking awesome. I love taking my bike for a walk. I mean, I have a dog. You think I'm gonna take that for a walk instead? I seem to spend more time walking this. Still walking. I think I should rename my channel Rusty Pushes His Bike Up Hills. Just stopping here by these wind farms. I think I've just been over the summit, although I wouldn't be able to tell. It's a bit anticlimactic, to be honest. I don't think it's the highest peak in amongst these peaks. So I kind of went up and over and started coming downhill again before I realised. But never mind. There'll be no amazing views from the top today. But I think that's the valley we're going down now, just over there. So that should be fun. We're not going to quite make it to those wind farms today. We're going to drop down into that valley before we get there. This grouse trail that we've been coming up, that's not been, that's not been easy, that's for sure. But we got there, a lot of walking, a lot of pushing, a little bit of cycling, and I think it's downhill now, so I'm looking forward to this bit. It's always reassuring to see other bike tracks. It means I'm not going somewhere completely ridiculous, which is nice. So this here was what my whole crazy ride was for. I saw this little route on Kamut and thought that looks fun. I wonder if I can make a loop out of it. So that's how I ended up going up Jeffrey's course for my sins. But look at that. Isn't that amazing? River South Esk flows through here into Gladhouse Reservoir. And we're about to ride down it. Amazing. Quick detour to Hirondeen Castle, 16th century Peel Tower, which I think just means look out. Not much left now.
So I think that's us at the end of the southwest clue gravel. That was a nice little trail actually. Here I am combing my hair. I'm always combing my hair. I've got to start that. Some kind of vein pool. Um, yeah, it was nice. It was nice to go down. Quite lumpy, like big boulders in places. But it was good. Nice change to all that heathland that I was cycling on just now. So yeah, glad I came out to do that bit. I might try and find a different way around the top next time if I ever came back. Now we just scoot around the edge of the of the reservoir into the hills a little bit and then back round to finish. It's been a good afternoon, a nice little bimble. Pleased with this. So let's sum up the ride as we just trundle our way down this sheep trail here. I think it's... So I came out because I wanted to do that South Esk trail there, that track. It seems to get us going to the hills. I found it on Kamut and thought it looked fun so I thought I'd try and make a loop out of it. Ended up going up the hills to the west, which I, I mean, the bike could handle it, definitely. I gave up before the bike did, for sure. Again, it was my lack of ability, I would say, that limited me. I would say this is definitely more of a adventure trail, exploration trail than a gravel trail. But the bike is handling it. There's no, no problem using this bike. Some of the ups and down bits were a bit too steep. So I did just get off and walk those, but I am a massive wuss when it comes to that sort of thing and I don't fancy injuring myself. So, I've enjoyed it. It's taken me longer than I thought it would to get around. I thought it was going to be a couple of hours. I think it's turned out to be maybe three and a half hours now. I'm still not back. But, yeah, good exploration.